And tonight we have with us a very special guest, our very own CEO and a classically trained uh, singer, Christian. So welcome and thank you so much for doing this with us. So thank you very much, Alejandra. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to uh, to meet you all here. Uh, webinar meet you. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I'm not at the office. Uh, we are having uh, uh, Easter here, so I'm at my home office. I hope it's okay with you. Yes, yes, it's true. We are having holidays right now. I'm sure that all of you are having holidays as well. So we are very, very, very grateful that you are here with us, all of you, and you as well, Christian. Thank you. So in order to start, where obviously this is a, a webinar on singing, and as I said, you're a classically trained singer. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Because, well, we'd like to know who our presenter is tonight. Yeah, okay. Yes, that's true. I've been uh, training singing for quite a lot of years before I started Airfit. And uh, the, the, the story was, and maybe I should tell you a little about the, how Airfit and, and singing actually got connected. I, I, I was doing, I, I, I was a trained uh, classical singer. And, and then one of my friends came with some equipment made for, for asthma and, uh, and super deep patients. And I said to him, oh, we can use that for, for singers as well, because it was uh, training the diaphragm and there was a visual way so you can actually see what you did. Very, very low tech uh, equipment, but we, we took it to the University of Copenhagen and we, we, we managed to, to find 30 of the best singers in Denmark. And we trained them for, for six weeks, 10 minutes training a day. And that was actually a very, very interesting experience. It was in the old days with, with a dad recorder and things like that. But long story short, we measured, we, we, we actually taped it all, but we measured capacity, what you uh, uh, sing called ambitious, meaning how deep and how high can you sing. And we measured that in, in half tone steps you know, for, for, for a C to the next C, there's 12 half, half tones steps. So we measured that and actually it was really amazing because it was trained singers, most of them professional or semi-professional singers. So they trained a lot, maybe uh, three to four uh, uh, hours a day and normally. So when we applied 10 minutes extra training, that was not a significant amount of extra training, but long story short, it ended up that after uh, six weeks of training, the, the males improved their ambitus with half tone steps. That would be, yeah, that makes that's, a lot. that's actually a lot, that's a lot in, in ambitus because you're striving for that every day as a, as a singer, you're striving to improve your ambitus. Also, you are striving for a lot of things, right? And, but for, for the women, it was uh, more than four half tones. And that was really, really amazing and a lot. So uh, the, the difference between uh, each singer was, was uh, significant. Some of them actually improved a lot. Some only one half uh, tone but everyone improved their, their. So that was, uh, that was amazing to see what we couldn't uh, actually prove, but what we could hear and what we actually uh, did record was, and, and if all of you are singers, uh, you would also find it extremely interesting. The quality of the sound was much better. So, you know, no, 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 not, not the pitch range, uh, the, the, the composition of the tones become oh. much more, yeah, complete. Uh, for but but we 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 didn't we didn't have the equipment to to prove it at that time, but I think we should we should do that at a later stage because now there is a relevant equipment where you can actually do that. Yeah, so that was very interesting to say it mildly experience for me. So I ended up by buying this equipment and the rights to the whole world and I sold it to singers, mostly in Denmark actually. Long story short, years went by and my oldest son qualified, he's a, he's a serious singer, sorry, a, a swimmer. swimmer. So he qualified for the Nordic Championship Juniors and I forced him, no, I didn't force him. I asked him to train with the Airfit for three months 
and he went to Sweden and participated in these championships and returned with seven gold medals as by far best athlete. So that was the beginning of where I really understood that this was something special. The old device was was very low tech and I needed to be a part of the equation all the time. So we started by, by actually building a completely new version and that is six years later and all my money is savings and my friends and family's savings as well and, and some later here this is where we are now but we shouldn't talk about that but that was uh, how it all started yeah no but it's fantastic because right now i mean that was at the time and that was a few years ago and yeah. right now we have an app that is much more specialized that includes all these different sessions all these different programs yeah so it's even better but some people might ask okay like breathing exercises have been existing for decades right That's true. and musicians have probably used breathing exercises for a very long time not just singers but musicians yeah. in general but why is training your respiratory muscles different from these breathing exercises that have existed for a very very long time yeah, that's a really good question. So, yeah, so a lot of different singing teachers have, have a lot of different approaches to singing drills and, uh, and singing training. But I think I can speak for almost all of them when, when I say that, that they would say that one of the most important parts, if not the most important part, is what you call support. And, and support is if you don't have equipment of any kind, it's really, really difficult to grasp it. and it's really difficult to actually communicate to, to, to your singing students because it's, it's inside the body and what is actually going, yeah, you can uh, give a, a technical explanation, but how can you feel it and how can you even uh, more difficult actually execute it? And, and this is, this is, uh, the uh, one of the great gifts we have here because that two elements uh, where where uh, airfield can actually help you as a singer one of them is uh it, it takes uh, four to six weeks the other one is instant and that's only for singers but all other users of the airfield will not have the instant benefit but that is a, a extremely interesting thing for, for let's say singers right but let's start with the other one the one uh, with actually training your respiratory system so the most important part of your respiratory system is diaphragm it's the biggest muscles muscle in in the breathing system and it's it's a, a dome muscle and the the range is like this and here it's tense and here it's relaxed. So that is the most important part. Then you, of course, have the intercostal muscles, the, the, the muscles between the ribs. Then you, I, then you have uh, the, your the, the, the your yeah, that. Uh, and you have other supporting muscles. But the most important part is the diaphragm. And if you can train that and if you can make that very strong and if you can tr control it, it will help you a lot in your singing that's actually crucial uh, for your ability to uh, make a good support. So when you, uh, when you want to train that, as, as I showed you, probably you all know it, but I'm just saying it anyway, the range is like this. And that means that if you want to train it significantly and efficiently, you have to train it inspiratory. That means you will put resistance on uh, your breathing and train the inspiratory way. So this is the reason why you you need to. Uh, that, that's some of the training sessions that you need to to use. That would actually be inspiratory. So that was one of the elements. The other one that that where you can actually get instance instant uh, performance is the coordination part, and and you get the coordination with. Uh, just right if you find the way where you have the maximum tension in your diaphragm and close your vowel lips. Uh, I call it vowel lips because they close completely, right? That That is why it's lips, not band, but, but lips. Not cords. Yeah. Exactly. So when you do that, if you can find exactly that play, that spot, that uh, moment uh, in time, and make your 
on set on your tone, you'll make the best uh, tone you ever done. And, and uh, we've seen it in thousands of singers. So if you can do that, and that takes a very short time to, to find that place, then you can actually make a great tone. Exactly. Yeah. And I remember that we talked about it and could you perhaps demonstrate it now exactly <laughs> how it is that we do uh, yeah. in order to achieve that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so if you, when, when, if we start with, with the long-term thing, then you have to, to choose some of the, the training sessions in, in your outfit where that, the inspiratory part is the essential part. That would be the circle training. That would be uh, inspiratory foundation, but there's actually quite a few where you have the inspiratory uh, element as an important part. So that would be just following these. If you if you go for the coordination part where you actually would have this maximum tension yeah. in your diaphragm and the closure of your vowel lips on your on the onset, you should use the the session called free because there can, you can see uh, the curve and there you can actually see when when this curve is at at its maximum that is where the tension of your diaphragm is on the maximum yes. and then it's important that you, you you make the inhalation and at that millisecond where the tension is on the maximum you take out the effort and make your your onset on the tone and it's also important here to do it right that you are not thinking that that you have to sing forward mm -hmm. you have to sing you have to have a, a mindset of singing inwards because if you're singing forward then then your bowl lips will collapse like this open or you will need to put them so hard together that the, they will not have the right tension for what you want to achieve so this is why you need to have this thinking of thinking inwards with the maximum tension in your diaphragm exactly so and i can show you of course that just a recap as a recap for the long-term effects, uh, yes. you should focus on the on the exercises that are available in our app that yes. focus on inspiratory tension. Yes. That is yes. inspiratory foundation. You can try with circle. Now for yes. the short-term effects, Christian is now going to demonstrate an exercise with a session that we have in our app that's called freedom. And this is to achieve a very, very good effect if you are preparing for a specific, I imagine, song or concert or... Yeah, yeah. So, so this is what we, you would call a preparation breath. So the preparation breath would be just before you make a, a vocalizer singing drill, just before then you make this preparation breath that, that I will demonstrate in a second. But, but it's also very, very, a very good idea if you have a different passage in a in a song let's say it's a very high part that you usually make an error there you you break or whatever then it's a really really good idea to separate that particular part and and just rehearse that little part with this preparation breath before and do that maybe 10 times until you have made it 10 times perfect then you can put it into make a little longer strip so so you can put it into a reverse or whatever you you're doing so th this is actually the principle it's not uh, really difficult to grasp and it's uh, very uh, correlated to uh, i guess how you're a singing teacher or how you teach yourself i don't know uh, your current level how you would do it normally but 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 putting that extra preparation breath in front of it makes a world of a difference. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so so I can of course demonstrate it. It's uh, quite a while since uh, I was singing because uh, I'm pretty busy of uh, uh, doing something with it called airfield, but I can just uh, I can just try here to, to show you. So you can you can use the resistance uh, D four for instance. You can also uh, take C3, but use the one 
uh, that feels the best for you. That is the, the, that is the most important part. Give me one second, Christian. For those of you who are interested, yes, this will be recorded because they are already asking for this special advice that you're giving. This will be recorded and available later on. So now, please. Okay, good. Yeah. So you 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 put then you put the choose the session called freedom. And there you can actually monitor how your breathing is. And uh, then you start by exhaling and actually empty your lungs as much as possible. And then you'll make a very explosive inhalation. When, when the maximum, you very fast uh, move the air fit and sing see. inwards. Sing inwards, but yeah, actually, let's see, let's try. Hope for the best. Right? Give it a try. Yeah. So that is the principle, and I guess the most of you are, are far better singers than me. So uh, you will uh, make it even better uh, in your end. I can tell you the first experience I had with professional singers that were were actually uh, buying this was uh, was a, yeah she was a Danish jazz singer, very well known in the Danish community. She ordered one of the old outfits once upon a time, and I sent it straight away, and she got it the next morning. And, and and I think 11 o'clock uh, next morning, she, she called me and said, oh, this is her. Uh, and I just sung the, the high C note for the first time. So <laughs> it, really, it really helped her instantaneously. So this coordination part can make a big difference for, for very many people, maybe all. So this coordination, if you do it right, you can make a very, very good sound, uh, the best you can actually do. And then you have to be patient like the rest of your training by building up the muscles and the muscle reflexes in, in the, the, the normal training with your inspiratory uh, part. Exactly. So they always tell us, ah, it will take a long time. No, I mean, yes, of course, it yes. takes a while as when every other yes. training but you can also see immediate results as we saw with this exercise you can say the core of of your singing that's that's of course not that's not all there is to it uh, this art and things like that and, and 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 learning to pitch right and things like that but but if you have this foundation in your training right then it's actually also easier to pitch at the right level so so you will uh, it, it will be um, more controlled the, the way uh, you will sing. But but art is something different, right? Uh, but but in my opinion, you need to be a good craftsman first before you can become an artist. And this is, in my opinion, the the the, the foundation for for actually become uh, much better as a singer. Better singer because you have to work on your technique as well. Yeah. Like that's yes, yes, of course. that's yeah. the foundation. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, this is a great question. They're asking us actually two questions. Okay. Will this device give you air to practice your breathing technique? Not exactly. Uh, our device provides you with different resistance levels to the air that you're already breathing in. So it's not like it's giving you air, it's giving you resistance to your inhale and exhale. For singers, it will be, as Christian explained, and maybe you can explain it a little bit better, it, be, it will be the inspiratory part that's really relevant. But yeah, it's resistance, like adding weight. When you're lifting weights, when you're doing a biceps curl, it's very much the same. Exactly. So. Yeah, so so the air fit it consists of two valves where, where you can actually have the oh I put it here yeah. where you, yeah. where you have different resistance uh, in and out so so you can the 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 smaller the number or, or so one a is the easiest one was well, resistant mm -hmm. uh, yeah so it has the largest hole and and if you go to the other end it would be f6 and that would be that would have the smallest hole and that would be the hardest to to breathe so so you, you train your muscle, your, your internal muscle in your core with this resistance. 
and you, you do it systematically and you do it so you can actually see uh, how well you're doing it and uh, and and do it in the right way so uh, it's 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 data based and and it and, and it's real time so you can see what you're doing while you're doing it so you can improve it all the time so you're not doing something that's uh, not optimal in your training because we we need to to use the time efficiently when we train we want to have the best out of it so this is uh, actually the philosophy here we we need to get the absolute best output out of our training and that that needs us to be conscious about what we do and and train with the best equipment exactly and someone else asks what is the maximum time to train each day for benefits and the difference between training once or twice a day for singers that is a good question that's actually a really really good question so in my experience not only for singing but for a lot of other things also if you play piano or things like that it's good to train often so training three times a day shorter is much better than training one time a day long so if you train let's say 20 minutes one one time a day you would have less output if you train three times a day, five minutes. So it's something about making these neural connections to, to, to your system that is actually, that takes some more time. And, and it's better to have uh, a lot of short trainings. So uh, I can see that is true. And that's also true for this kind of training. It's true for respiratory training, but it's also true for singing training. Okay, so better like smaller, smaller yeah. sessions, shorter yeah. sessions to yeah. say. And what is the maximum time to train for a singer? Like we usually recommend maximum 12 to 15, 15 yeah. is a stretch. Yeah. Um, but what would yeah. you recommend for a singer? That's a really, really good question because, it, and it's also easy to, to make a wrong answer. So I would say if you make, if you make the, let's separate it so if you train uh, your respiratory system the the the, the strengthening training i would say start with maybe two times five minutes and then scale up to maybe two times ten minutes that's fine because 10 minutes total yeah because it's yeah. actually really hard but the coordination training you should train that very often you should train it every time you, you, you do a drill, every time you have a, a, a difficult passage to train. So that preparation breath, you should, you should, be, should be, become a master of that. So, so that would not be, oh, you can only do that 10 minutes a day or something. No, you should, you should begin to implement it in, in your training in order to become a master of that. Okay. Okay, that's a, it was a great question and thank you. <laughs> and someone asks, for someone who is new to this device, will, be, will there be a free workshop to learn how to use it? You can stay tuned for more because we're definitely having more of these webinars. You can find all our information yeah. as well in the app. The device comes with some guides and if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us. We have a lot of information in our YouTube channels in our Instagram accounts as well, but we can always, always, always give you our one-on-one -on -one help if you reach out to us. Any more questions? No, I'm not seeing anything else. So thank you very much. Thank you, Christian. Thank, thank you all of you for being here with us tonight. It was a and pleasure. It was a pleasure to have the chance to talk a little about uh, singing. It's been a long time since, so. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Yes. And it was beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you, Christian, once again. And Thank we you. are with all Pleasure. of you wonderful holidays. Pleasure to see you all. Take care. It was great to see you. Bye-bye.